Hey guys, it's here, and most of you might be knowing that OnePlus is not giving about its previous releases that is the oneplus 2 oneplus x and the oneplus one yes the oneplus one is dead but yeah there are a few people using it because it works really well and also i guess oneplus should give us the at least nougat update but no they are failing to do it so in this video i'm going to teach you how to get android n in your oneplus x so basically the prerequisites of getting android n is that you need to have custom recovery installed then two of the zip files that I have provided in the description box down below. So yeah, that, that's what you need to do that. So basically, let's talk about the zip files. The first zip file up in here is, is the Lineage OS, which is a custom ROM. And basically, it's based on Android 7.1.1. That means that once you flash it, you're going to get Android 7.1.1 on your OnePlus X, which is a great thing. Talking about the second zip file, the second zip file is of G apps, uh, which gives us the Google apps that we get inside our phone. So I recommend you to go with the Nano one because the thing is that Nano has a very minimal size and also our OnePlus X does not have um, a fingerprint sensor. So Nano gives us the face lock. If Pico had that, then I would surely have would have gone with Pico. If you actually get come go with uh, Micro or Mini, you are going to get the Google Now Launcher, which in my opinion is not that great. If you really uh, take looks into consideration, there are a ton of other launchers that you can use. For example, the Nova Launcher. You can also get the Nova Prime Launcher for free. Uh, the link is in the description box down below you so you can obviously check that out as well if you really like um so yes that's what we have up in here and so this video goes like i'm gonna explain you how to flash the lineage os uh, i'm gonna teach you not teach you i'm gonna just show you or take a tour across the lineage os on my oneplus x and the third thing that i'm gonna show you is that i'm gonna do a speed test uh, when Lineage is on my phone and just compare it with the second part. Okay, so this is the first part and the second part which I just talked about will be having Resurrection Remix in it. So that would mean that, would mean that I would have two ROMs, uh, two custom ROMs. So basically I shot both these videos at the same time but I thought of not putting it together because it would have been a big and a boring video. So yeah, that's what I have to talk. And in the second part, I will compare both these and give you a final conclusion. So without wasting any much further time, let's get started. So let's quickly flash the ROM. This cute looking ODG come pen drive is having all the downloads that we need. Let's get into the recovery mode. If you guys follow me for a long time, then you might be knowing how to do that. But then if you don't, just press the volume but down button and the power button at the same time till you see the OnePlus logo. And yes, there you go. Before flashing a ROM, just wipe all the data and then flash it. If you don't know how to backup the original ROM, then just hit the backup button down there and just uh, swipe to backup. Well, this will take some space from your storage, internal storage, and you won't get the storage that you deserve. Now, I need to connect the OTG to my phone and search for the flashable zip files. We need to flash the G apps also. These give us the Google apps. I recommend you to use Nano because of its very minimal size and it works really well. Also as OnePlus X doesn't have fingerprint scanner, Nano package gets us face lock which gets us our device unlocked pretty much quickly. We have now successfully flashed the G apps and the Lineage OS. Now let's hit the reboot button and get started. 
the initial boot takes some time after all the initial setup is done we are finally inside the lineage os Let's go to the settings and check the Android version. Yes, that is Nougat and that to 7.1.1. Well, till date Lineage gave me 4 updates in a span of 5 weeks, which is very impressive. Let's check out other Lineage OS features. Firstly, we get all the Nougat features like the quick settings after swiping onto the right and also that cool looking animation when we take down the notification bar and etc. We can now also customize the status bar like changing the clock position, the AM PM style or where we want the battery percentage to be and etc. We can also change the number of icons we want on our status bar. With the lineage we get quick pull down setting which is a pretty much useful setting. Like here I have selected right, that means when I pull down the notification bar from the left hand side, it won't expand fully. But when I do it from the right hand side, it will quickly come down and would give me access to those quick settings up in the notification panel. One of my favorite feature in here is that we can now increase or decrease the brightness or I would say adjust the brightness just by scrolling across the status bar which is pretty much self-explanatory and you might have seen it right now. Camera works really well and has got a lot of stuff which you can play with but as it is a custom ROM, the camera experience won't be the best. But even though this is a nightly version, the Lineage OS works really well and those unstable parts haven't been experienced by me. Only once but that's fine. Talking about the negative points, one of the major negative aspect of Lineage OS is that the alert slider doesn't work. Although we can change it from all notifications to priority or to no sounds from the panel, but in my opinion, this is a very big deal and Lineage needs to fix this. Let me download some apps that we need for the speed test and also I need to show two more flaws or negative aspects that I have experienced. After a reboot you can see that cellular data goes off. For your information, the data is on but it does not detect. So for fixing this we need to go to the settings, then to the sim cards, then to the sim settings and then save the APN again and then it works really fine. So the one last flaw that I found in here is that the Sinogen camera is very unstable and even when we shut down or disable the shutter sound, it keeps on coming. You can see that how unstable is the camera and we need to clear the data to like uh, make it function properly. Let's begin with the speed test now. So before beginning let's see if we have anything in background we don't have. Let's fire up the stopwatch. 3, 2, 1, go. Let's open up Gmail. Then Facebook. Then Gallery. YouTube. Snapchat Instagram Settings Google App Contacts Temple Run Okay, this would take some time then calculator then phone messaging 
chrome and then lastly the camera let's lap the time and let's begin with another round So the OnePlus X completes the speed test in 1 minute 43 seconds. If you've seen the first video on this channel, then you might have uh, seen that the OnePlus X completes the test in 2 minutes 40 seconds or something like that. Uh, it's good to see that time difference and also you can see the memory management has been improved as most of the apps, not most, all of the apps were running in the background which is good to see here so big thumbs up to lineage and also no good so yes that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it if you really did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and do if you have any queries then obviously you can ask me on any of my social media the links are in the description box down below you can also ask in the comment section down below so i'll be always ready to help and yeah Share with your friends. Peace.